Toltec with those blinkers on and he jumped well Toltec towards the inside. Storm Race had just ridden out for a stride to hold his position and Tom Collins is racing away third, a little bit heady between them. Samsonite's making a move around runners in the green silks. Tom Collins just a little bit strong behind looking to drop his head. Semaphore News in the yellow silks is there. Toltec's free striding in front and you'll notice his head's just up for a stride or two there. Toltec going the 1600 metre journey. King's Music in the club blue at the black cap is around runners. Semaphore News in the yellow just gets a niggle or two. Roy's Mangiro and Francesca is the trailer. Francesca races about six lengths off them. Toltec in front, doing the bidding by a length and a half. Samsonite is second in the green silk, Storm Race is third. Tom Collins just got shuffled back to the inside as about four off. And King's Music, there goes Anton. Gives him a few reminders and King's Music now races around. Club Blue at the black cap to strike the front at the 600. Top of the lane, King's Music going to bring them in. Storm Racer just ran into a pocket, had to ease off the heels of King's Music. And Toltec's going to come right back for more. That's the horse to beat at the top of the lane. And here's Toltec by a length and a half. The grey Storm Racer trying to regather. Tom Collins is running large, got two lengths to make up. Toltec over the last hundred. Tom Collins is now mounting a serious challenge on the outside. The grey Storm Racer is trying to come back for more. Tom Collins looks the live wire 100 out. Toltec still by a half, but now Tom Collins gets him. And Tom Collins goes on by a half a length. Tom Collins to win it by a long neck. Toltec second. Francesco took off ahead of Samsonite. Well, coming to the last 100 metres, and Tom Collins puts on the pressure. The philanthropists for the Dennis Dreyer stable, the Fullards, the Drews, and the Gabblers. Well done to them. Drakenstein stud bred this. The Ruperts, 350,000 by. And he only wins about a long head as they go down to the line. He looked like he'd sweep on to go about a half a length clear, but Toltec sticks with him. Eye-catching run from Francesco late on. Then we found Samsonite and Storm Racer. He looked to be travelling well, turning for home. He then got caught in a pocket behind King's Music. Tried to re-rally. A horse you'll have to certainly pencil in for next time out, Storm Racer. Here's Toltec on the left-hand side. He sped away, coming to the 350 Storm Racer. But Tom Collins grinding away. And just looking from the commentary box here, that last 50 metres, they weren't going all that fast. Toltec was in front, but then you can see Tom Collins gets to him. And the last... 50 meters they both flat out but Tom Collins gets his head in front and he will just oblige that's the running of the second race back to the studio good result for the dryer team well done to uh, Fullard Drew and Gabler see uh, well done to all the guys here yeah, caught up with uh, Mike Fullard and James Drew on the Gold Cup day and the boys still involved throughout the country with their horses. Love the game. I see this horse spread by Drakenstein Stud as well. And Tom Collins is his name. Well done, uh, Stu. Uh, 1,600, much better. Yeah, I think he was just looking for the trip. Coming around the corner, things could have got wrong. Yeah, it was a muddling race, you know, there and then they were bumping and then he came wide. But, you know, I think his little bit of ability pulled through there at the end. Yeah, you know, it was a driving ride by Ian to get him over the line, but the fact is he's got the job done. Exactly, and just well done to Mike and James and Cheryl, and uh, well done to Dennis. Anything else from your side later on, Stu? Yeah, we've got, now, you know, everything's with a chance. Whitewater and Rapids and next obviously got a chance in that field, and then uh, the two fillies, they, they, you know, they've been there and thereabouts, and uh, just, you know, thanks to Ian, you know, he'd ride a bit of work for us and ask him a winner. The horse in the next race, I mean, worth including in the pick six, taking on the favourite there? Yeah, they're qualified maiden, so there's obviously no uh, stars in there. So, yeah, he's, you know, he's improved from his last run and he should be a runner. Thanks for that. Give our best to the boss as well. And uh, well done on the last season as well, Stu. Uh, another tremendous season for the yard. Yeah, it ended well. Thanks, Dees. Well done. Stuart Ferry, assistant trainer to Dennis Dry. You're going to have to talk us to this one, Ian, because... Uh, you know, I don't know what was going on around the turn and then you had to push the source all the way to the line. Yeah, technically befuddling because he, uh, you know, he's still a green horse. He's, he's still learning what it's all about and Warren didn't want to go on the fence. I had to just ease him in behind and then the horse I was following just stopped on me. We had to pull him out a little bit earlier than what I wanted to. And when he hit the front, he was looking around and geez, into this headwind, it really made it hard for him. Um, so he really won a good race. Um, He's a lovely big horse, um, 
and I think he's got a bright future. Lovely to ride a winner in these colours again. Brings back memories of Punta. And uh, yeah, so thanks so much to Mr. Dreyer and to Stewie. Still have nightmares of that Vodacom Durban July? I think about it all the time, <laughs> especially now that Stu's back in racing. It really, it, it was a great day though, you know. Obviously running second in the July is awesome. Um, and I'm sure we'll get the winner soon. How's uh, your season looking for you? Are you going to be doing a bit of traveling? Um, Gauteng has always been a base for you. Yeah, you know, I'm based in Durban again. Um, I love Durban. I was, obviously I was brought up here. Um, and, and I enjoy the traveling. Um, obviously I'll go up when I get, when I get the odd chances and... Um, but I'm not going to be doing it like six days a week like I was before. Um, so I'm hoping to just have a nice solid season in Durban and one or two in Joburg, hopefully every week, and, and we go from there. Rides to come, you like anything else? Yeah, I think my next best is probably a horse that I picked up in the sixth race called Onesie. He must have a good chance. Um, yeah. Thanks for that, Ian, and Thanks. all the best for the rest sure, of the option. Thank you. Well done. Ian Sturgeon, well done to the owners. Tom Collins, Dennis Dreyer, well played. Uh, come through to be Toltec, so 2-1. Four and seven, that's the way they cross the line, race number two. Now, you don't want to be caught napping. My suggestion is get your perm sorted out uh, before 13.55 because that's when they'll jump for race number three. It is the start of the pick six. Estimated pool, 1,200,000.